fuck! How's it going, YouTube? It's been a while. I apologize to my subscribers. But I actually have a good reason for that. I haven't even had a bike. Jesus, fuck. I hate this bike. Okay, so that's exactly... <laughs> what a more convenient thing. Okay, so I took this bike into Mount Baker Motorsports for exactly what you just saw. A grindy sixth gear. Very grindy. I had them do a little diagnostic time, try and uh, replicate the problem. And I told them it's a very intermittent problem. It doesn't happen all day, every day. I can go like a week. I can could go several gas tanks, hundreds of miles without an issue. Sometimes I can't go a single shift without an issue. For the last several days I can barely go shift without an issue anyway so they wrote it a total of three times three separate occasions for a total of 11 miles that's it that means they barely even left the shop each time and I told them to really take it out don't mess around don't take her out for a, the first little coffee date and expect to get some pussy no be a little realistic about it did they do that? No. Did they replicate the problem? No. Well, of course not. You barely even fucking took it off the freaking city. The shop is in the city. So if they took it out uh, three times for a total of 11 miles, then they didn't take it out. And that pisses me off. So yes, yeah, so this bike was in the shop trying to get some warranty work on my transmission. Yet another failed attempt. So I'm going to have to try again. They said they'd be more than happy to take it out more. And it's going to have to actually cost me like labor time. So I got to pay a mechanic his hourly cost of $86 an hour plus tax. Just for him to go ride it and diagnose it. I was like, really? Okay. I'm willing to do whatever I have to do to get this bike fixed. But at the same time, I'm really debating, is it worth it anymore? I have such a love-hate relationship with this bike over the last two years. That is it worth it? And right now, I'm saying no. I, I hate it more than I love it by a lot. So, on top of this one being in the shop, the Ninja has been in the shop too. It's actually been in the shop for the last week. It's going to be in the shop for like another two weeks. That one is like a thousand dollars where the repair is going on right now. It's ridiculous. I got that one in the shop for front and rear sprockets and a chain. The fork seals were done. They were leaking everywhere. And since the day I bought that bike, it's had bad front brake pads. So it's getting some brake pads done. Overall, about a thousand out the door. But that bike, I absolutely love. That thing never gives me any flack. It's a stud. It's a fucking stud of a motorcycle. So that one, I don't mind spending any money on. This one, I am on the fence with. Because how much money do I have to dump into this bike just to get it to way it worked the way it should have the day I bought it? And that ultimately pisses me off. I shouldn't have to spend a dime. It should just work. So obviously, with both bikes being in the shop, I haven't been able to record anything for a little while. So I'm glad we got that out of the way.
the I was very fed up with the uh, KLX after I picked it up on what to do with it as far as getting going further and further and trying to get it repaired or just selling it. Selling it is actually a pretty good option. The uh, the dealership will take it in for three thousand on trade in, and I only owe three thousand on it. So it's like I can wipe my hands clear of the situation. So that is extremely tempting. I'll be out like three thousand bucks, but at the same time, that's another three thousand bucks I won't have to spend on a bike that clearly. Kawasaki is not willing to repair for me. I think I might just end up being happier only having the Ninja and only riding that one. I really don't know what to do yet. I'm just, uh, I'm at 6,600 miles on this bike. I'm going to take it in for the 7,500 little certain mile service for valve adjustments and whatnot. I'll have, I'll literally pay them an hour's worth of labor to do diagnostic time. Just so I can maybe see if I can get this bike fixed. I would love for this to work out. The only reason I ride a motorcycle every day and have a motorcycle as my main commuter is because I have this bike. I wouldn't do that if I had only the Ninja. The Ninja gets the same gas mileage as my car, and it costs a fuckload to maintain over my car, so it's not worth it being a commuter. This bike is. This bike doesn't cost shit to ride. $150 valve adjustments, tires are cheap, gas is cheap, no insurance. This thing's worth it. That's the only reason I'm even debating on keeping this bike anymore. It's just, do I really want to ride a motorcycle that bad year-round? Yes or no? So, I don't know what I want to do with it yet. And of course, I'll keep everyone updated on that. And, uh... How do I be KLX boy on YouTube if I don't even own a KLX anymore? <laughs> Would it be just like a running gag at that point? I don't know. Fucking piece of trash. See what I'm talking about? See what I'm fucking talking about? Two in the same video. That doesn't happen too often. Oh my god! Ugh! Jesus fucking Christ! How did that replicate this shit? <laughs>